All right, here we go. Question number 20 of our college algebra homework number six in my lab math. Uh, they give us a function log base three of x minus two. And the first thing they want us to do is describe the transformations that are involved in this function. So over here in this window, let's look at what transformations are given. Uh, here, we can see that there is a minus 2. Notice that it is inside the log function, directly attached to the x, and that means that this is a horizontal shift. If you have a number added or subtracted within the function directly to x, that is a horizontal shift. Plus is left, minus is right. So this is going to be a shift of two units to the right. Let's see if I'm right. Two units to the right. Check it. Bam. And then it's going to want us to graph this function. So we're going to click on the graph. And we're going to choose the log tool since this is a log function. And it doesn't matter where you click on the graph. It's going to center the graph kind of here at the origin and it's going to want you to put in the transformations okay so what do we say we have a shift right to horizontal shift and if it goes to the right it's going to be positive do you see that on the graph that if i move it to the right it shifts it to the right here two units and we don't have any other transformations okay make sure that the base is correct right a base of three so we got a base of three we've got our horizontal shift we're gonna check that and that is correct they also want the domain okay so if you look at this graph can you see that the graph starts ex existing at two and will exist forever to the right okay so we can see that it's gonna start at two but actually this is going to be an asymptote so 2 is not included and so we're going to use a parenthesis instead of a bracket everything from 2 to infinity whoops and I put look what I did mm, get in a hurry you screw things up Bam. What else is on? Vertical asymptote. Where is this vertical asymptote at? It's at 2. That's obvious right here. Vertical asymptote at 2. Bam. All right, so that's it for that problem. Uh, that's done. If you want to keep watching for more stuff, do it. Over here, I'm going to show how to figure that stuff out by hand manually. Okay? So what we want to do is we want to go through and look at how do I graph this function if I have to graph a log function by hand. And the way you're going to do that is, well, first you need to find the domain. And the way you find the domain of a log function is you take whatever you're taking the log of, which in this case is x minus 2, and that's going to have to be greater than 0. The, you you have to take the log of a positive number and it can't be zero. So that this is kind of like saying this is the restriction of a log function. Whatever you're taking the log of has to be greater than zero. And then if I move that negative two over, we see that x has to be strictly greater than two. So with interval notation, if we're greater than two, then I'm not going to use a bracket because that would say equal as well. But it's not. It's strictly greater than. So it's going to be a parenthesis 2 to infinity. That's your domain. And the reason we need that first is so that we know what x is to pick. Uh, in other words, we know the range of values where we can pick x's and expect to get reasonable solutions. Okay, So I can't choose 2 because 2 is not included but I can choose anything bigger than two. Uh, I think I'm going to start with three first. And then we're going to plug that in. We're going to have log base three of three minus two. Now that's going to be log base three of one. And then if I go to my handy dandy calculator, 
we can do with this button right here, we can do log base three of one. Okay, now let me tell you, you don't really need a calculator to do log of one. No matter what the base is, log of one is going to be zero. That's just a given, okay? So that's going to be zero. Now, we need another value of x, and since my base is 3, I'm going to be a little strategic about the next x I pick, because I would like this to work out to be 3, so I'm going to pick x is 5. Let's look at what happens if x is 5. Well, 5 minus 2 is 3, so that's going to be log base 3 of 3, and again, I don't really need the calculator to do that because anytime these bases are the same, the exponent is the answer. Here, the exponent of this 3 is 1, so I would expect that to be 1. But let's put it in the calculator just to make sure. Clear. Log base 3 of 3 is 1. Okay. Next, we need a third point, and I would really like to get a number that's closer to 2 and again I want this to work out if I can get it to work out so what's a number that's between 2 and 3 I don't know 2.5 maybe 2.5 is between 2 and 3 let's do log base 3 of 2.5 minus 2 that's going to be the same as log base 3 of a half. And then I'm going to use my handy dandy calculator for that. Log base 3 of 0.5, which is the same as a half. Whoo, that is not nice. I'm going to round that to negative 0.6. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to draw a hand drawn graph for this. Now, did you notice back up here the domain is greater than 2? And that means that our vertical asymptote is going to be at 2. That's the number that uh, the graph is going to approach and never touch. So at 2.5, we're at negative 0.6. So 2.5, negative 0.6 is going to be about there. 3 is at 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is at 1. And do you see I've got this graph curving like this? Notice it's going to come in and approach the asymptote like that. And if I move my calculator out of the way, can you see that this graph that we got from the transformations looks the same as I did from doing it manually? And now we're going to check electronically f of x equals hello g oh I forgot we're gonna have to do a function function miscellaneous log base 3 of x minus 2 and again that graph which has an x-intercept of 3 matches this graph matches this graph so that all matches oh man i hope all of that was helpful if you have any questions or comments feel free to put them in the comment section below or you can text me and thanks for watching